speaker, the stand up. The next speaker is Kevin Zeiss. He's the executive director and co-founder of Voters for Peace. Zeiss is an attorney, peace advocate, and served as national media director for Ralph Nader's presidential campaign in 2000 and 2004. In 2006, he took a leave from Voters for Peace and uh, okay, he ran from USA in Maryland. So let's have a big hand for Kevin Zeiss. How you all doing? I want to talk to you tonight about something that is a secret. A secret that the politicians, except for two, have not talked about. A secret the media never talks about. But I suspect some of you already know it. The only politicians to talk about are Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich. The secret is the United States is the biggest empire in world history. This is a secret we don't talk about. We've been an empire for a hundred years. We have more than 1,100 military bases around the world. Compare that to the United Kingdom and Rome, who had 35 and 37 bases at their peak. We have 1,100. We are the largest empire in world history. We're more than 100 years old, and no one talks about it. The reason they don't talk about it is because if they did, people would want to end. The empire is undermining the rule of law, it's undermining democracy, it's undermining our economy, and it's undermining our national security. There's nothing good about it unless you are a transnational corporation, the Pentagon, or part of the military industrial complex. They're the only ones from this empire. We all suffer from it. We all suffer from it because they send jobs overseas in order to keep our client states happy. That's what empires do. They get cheap labor for the transnational corporations, cheap, cheap resources, and they screw us at home. They screw us at home because they got to keep their world domination. It's time for us to end U.S. empire. It's time to put an end to U.S. empire. I'm with an organization called Come Home America. Come Home America is an organization that brings together people from across the political spectrum. Right, left, libertarian, liberal, progressive, conservative, they're all part of Come Home America because any American who knows about U.S. militarism and U.S. empire knows it's wrong. And the only way we're going to defeat it is if we come together and say no more empire. No more empire. No more empire. We've had enough. We don't need an empire. An empire hurts us, it doesn't help us. The military budget, Obama puts out a budget. 66% of the domestic spending that's discretionary is off the table. That is the military budget, the intelligence budget, and the national security budget, homeland security. That 66% of the budget can't be cut. But they'll cut everything else. They'll cut everything else or hold it back because the military is all they want to fund. And the military budget has been increasing every year consistently. It's doubled since 2001. We now have Obama submitting record military budget, record intelligence budgets, record national security budgets, Every year, another record is broken. He's going in Bush's back. Bush did the same thing. Record after record, military, intelligence, and national security. It's undermining our economy. It's destroying the rule of law. We allow torture in the American name. Bush conducted it. Obama covered it up. Obama is a co-conspirator in the torture by American uh, military and American intelligence agencies. It's time to put an end to all of that. I urge you all to stand up and say enough. Enough of this empire. We don't need it anymore. It's hurting us. It's not helping us. It's making us un-American. Stand up and say no. Come home, America. Come home, America, now. Thank you all.